Welcome back to Crypto Wealthy Channel guys. In today's video, finally, we have some bullishness in the Bitcoin space over here and the crypto space in general. And also we have some incredible news. We do have more adoptional news, more use cases for the Bitcoin. And we have unfortunately a little bit bad news from the XRP side. So we're going to cover everything very, very quickly. And now let's dive into some price technical analysis over here. So first thing first is the Bitcoin, of course, very quickly. We're covering this almost every day. So we're going to just update you what happened, what we discussed in the previous videos and in yesterday's video, what we need to see in order to see more bullish momentum is we need to see the yesterday's previous candle actually that we discussed uh, to close above 20 exponential moving average, which is very good indicator for the Bitcoin. Whenever the price is above 20 EMA, we are in the bull market. And whenever we are below it, we are into the bear market or at least in a bear trend or correction trend or whatever. Right now we got above after uh, almost 10 consecutive days being in the downtrend over here. Bitcoin price managed to break 20 EMA and right now we are back above it. This pretty much means that we close above 20 exponential moving average. The day's candle is a little bit red, but that's also counted on some sort of way as the direct retest over here. And as you can see, the previous candlestick pattern over here, which is a hammer, uh, pattern that's pretty much bottoming formation of some downtrend. Uh, the hammer actually confirmed us that we on some sort of a way bottomed out. But nevertheless, despite hammer, we even had the next engulfing pattern over here, which is engulfing the previous candle over here. That's already double confirmation and uh, third confirmation could be also the 20 exponential moving average. So right now, it's more likely that we are going to see the uptrend from here right now. So far, so good. As you can see, the indicators as the RSI is in cooldown zone over here, a little bit above level of 50, which is very important. And the MACD in this case scenario that we discussed in yesterday's video over here about histogram is fading the bearish momentum. That's very, very important. Uh, MACD was the only confirmation for this downtrend since we discussed uh, on 24th February. It played out and right now it's fading away, which is very, very good. So far, so good. This is the very simplest technical analysis that you can do on, in the Bitcoin, especially if the Bitcoin is in bull market. You can determine what Bitcoin is doing right now, what it's planning to do and when it's planning to do when you have such a indicators. This is the simplest way that we can do. Also, we discussed about retesting a 50 simple moving average. Uh, Bitcoin did that successfully as it did over here in this uh, area over here. It did over here also. So right now we are uh, most probably going to continue our climbing to the upside. Now, the one thing played out that we predicted yesterday uh, yesterday, we had a pretty good fear of 38 um, level over here. And I pretty much told you that if we close, uh, just go and check out that video. If we close about 20 exponential moving average, if we bounce uh, successfully as we did over here, if everything that happened, we are going to see fear and greed index jumping and skipping all these parts over here to the 78 from 38 to 78, pretty much double as much over here. So this is one of the things to be aware of because people right now, when they see uh, these confirmations over here, they are more secured that the price will go uh, to the upside. We're not breaking some uh, special level of support. So the Bitcoin price right now is trying to regain its power. This is very good risk reward ratio to enter the position over here right now. So I do believe that this is one of the reason also why people got more relaxed about the price. That's very important to say. Now let's dive into some news to see what's going on out there. CBOE files to list the Vanex proposed Bitcoin ETF. This is very good. Now we're going to see if they're going to succeed with it. Nevertheless, they are still trying. Exposure to Bitcoin through an ETP also presents certain advantages for retail investors compared to buying spot Bitcoin directly. The most notable advantages is the use of the custodian to custody the trust's Bitcoin assets. So as you can see, more and more adoption we are going to see as the Bitcoin price is more sustainable, rising and the Bitcoin is in the middle of the news out there. In the whole world, they're talking about uh, Bitcoin. I can confirm that because I'm coming from the Serbia and I'm living in Norway and in both countries, they're 
talking about Bitcoin and everywhere. So this is very, very good. We are going to see most probably Chicago uh, adopts uh, this ETF. We're going to see what will happen over here, but I hope they are going to succeed with this Bitcoin ETF. Uh, switching to the next one, we have more bullish news when it comes to the price, more Bitcoin. It seems like that uh, Michael Saylor announces more buying. Actually, they bought uh, 15 million worth in Bitcoin. Uh, MicroStrategy has purchased an additional 328 Bitcoins for 15.0 million in cash at any average price of $45.7 thousand dollars per Bitcoin. So this is again, they are not stopping with buying, but it seems like they are slowly uh, slowing down with the price because I do believe that they don't want to destroy the, their average price of $23,000-$24,000 uh, in general, you know, from full portfolio they bought uh, in Bitcoin, but nevertheless, they're still buying and accumulating Bitcoin and they're still able on some sort of way to move market because it, it's still not so big market and you can move it. Maybe they even uh, moved this candle over here above 20 exponential moving yeah. average and pretty much set Bitcoin for the next rally and, you know, getting their gains there on their own. So they're doing that by their own hands and their own investing, which you cannot do with the S&P 500 and the stocks. It's much bigger market than the crypto space in general. So switching to the next one, we have more adoptional news for the Bitcoin. OLB Group enables crypto payments for thousands of US merchants actually for the crypto space, whole cryptocurrency space in general, not just Bitcoin. Uh, OLB Group, a New York-based e-commerce merchant service provider, is making it easier for businesses to accept cryptocurrency payments. Again, very, very good uh, news over here for the crypto space. We are seeing adoption every single day and we are covering it on this channel non-stop. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to be updated about this every single day. We anticipate that adoption will happen more quickly in higher ticket transactions such as jewelry, B2B billing and real estate because the transaction fees for cryptocurrency processing are lower, often half of typical credit cards fees. Uh, so yeah, this is also true. This is also one of the reasons that we're going to discuss about in the XRP trouble and MoneyGram trouble in the uh, next news or so. This is very, very positive news, ladies and gentlemen, for the crypto space. Nevertheless, what prices are doing uh, on the longer scale, you know, on the longer term, we're going to see cryptocurrency space on a much higher prices just because of this kind of adoption. Uh, switching to one more very good news again, Rakuten's customers can now use Bitcoin for shopping. Japanese retail giant Rakuten, I hope I didn't butcher this, has integrated its crypto wallet with its payment app, enabling consumers to directly load and convert their Bitcoin holdings for use in everyday spendings. Very, very nice. Look at this. This is beautiful to see. So for now, so far, we are seeing on the picture over here, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, if I'm right, and the Ethereum. Uh, this is going to be, yes, I'm right. So this is going to be nice for, for start, for the beginning. I think those three over here are okay. Even so, I think Cardano may win the race against the Ethereum just because the whole Ethereum network is clogged and very bad when it comes to the transaction fees and uh, everything. But we will see if they are going to actually manage to do something because if Cardano comes to the second place, well, ladies and gentlemen, some things can change. Uh, switching to the last news for today, which is a little bit bearish for the MoneyGram. I'm not sure how this will affect XRP, but nevertheless, it seems like some of investors in MoneyGram sued them for some misleading statements. MoneyGram faces lawsuit over alleged false say statements regarding XRP. Ripple partner MoneyGram is facing lawsuit. So let's see what's happening. Payments company MoneyGram International has been sued over alleged false statements made regarding its partnership with Ripple Labs and their XRP currency. So according to a post announcing a strategic partnership between the two companies in June 2019, MoneyGram utilized Ripple's X-Rapid product leveraging XRP in foreign exchange settlement as part of its cross-border payment process. However, on December 23rd, 2020, the company clarified it's not dependent on Ripple's X-Rapid service for its foreign exchange trading needs. I think this is the problem where the lawsuit is coming in. MoneyGram does not utilize the ODL platform or RippleNet for direct tra transfers of consumer funds. 
digital or otherwise. Furthermore, MoneyGram is not a party of the SEC action. So this was the global investor rights legal practice assert MoneyGram made fraudulent statements regarding its partnership with Ripple Labs and the status of XRP as a security. This sounds like with the false statements similar as the Elon Musk did for the Dogecoin. So SEC uh, for now it's still rumor but could proceed with the lawsuit against him but nevertheless we're going to wait and see if something will happen uh, additionally in the event that the sec decided to enforce securities laws against triple moneygram would be likely to lose the lucrative stream of market development fees that was critical to its financial results rosen added as a result defendants public uh, statements were materially false and or misleading at all relevant times when the true details entered the market the lawsuit claims that investors suffered damages anyway the whole problem over here could be you know as much as the gains moneygram got from the ripples uh, network using or you know announcing of the partnership from the very beginning could be also very bad for them because of the xrp ripple situation with the sec right now so yeah they're pretty much on the loss right now but we will see and follow what will happen in the future so i think this is it for today ladies and gentlemen we covered most important news over here that are important for the whole space you know little by little we're going to see adoption anyway and we are seeing adoption happening right now if you're in the space you are one of the early adopters also i want to thank every single each last one of you for watching our videos hit that like and subscribe button and until the next episode happy trading and goodbye